Welcome, everybody. This is Spencer with Unique Oklahoma. We're being joined by Clinton and getting set up the rest of the way here. We're going to be joining Soraya, who will be showing us um, the Clary Sage runway show, fashion show, uh, behind the scenes before the show, the rehearsal. Can you hear me? Yep. So that's Clinton joining us now, and we're waiting until we got everything set up for Soraya to come in. Hello. Just a second. Oh, I think we hear Soraya. I'm here. It's me. My headphones are messed up. Okay. Hold on there. Hold on. Can you still hear me? I'm having some issues. Can Katie, you your see? hair looks good. If you can hear me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can see a picture. I don't know what you're upset about. I think it looks okay. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, and um, we are um, talking to Soraya Harmon, who, by the way, is my daughter and also a two-time graduate. Uh, and we are going to talk about the story which we recently ran on the Clary. And so we're going to talk to Soraya a little bit about that. Uh, Soraya, uh, tell us what we can expect with the show. Let's start with that. Some things that are going to be going on, a little bit about the designs, designers, things like that. Okay, so as you know from the story, Clary Runway is Clary Sage College's biggest fundraiser um, of the year. So through this, of course, we have the entertainment, which is the fashion show from students and alumni from Clary Sage. Uh, from their fashion department, but we also have lots of other stuff going on. So uh, to really get the entire uh, college's college involved, um, we have the hair and makeup students uh, getting all of the models ready. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So as far as the entertainment goes and the fashion show, we have upfront seating for VIP. There is all kinds of raffles going on. When you come in, there's going to be several different ways to take your attention. To start off, you'll come in, you'll be greeted uh, with hors d'oeuvres and wine. Um, as you make your way, you can expect to see several different raffles. We have partnered with iHeartRadio as well as some just local uh, spas. We have a spa and luxury ra uh, raffle. That's up for you, everyone to check out and see. As you make your way to your seats, doors do open at 6. Um, come in, make your way. The fashion show will get started at 7. It is high energy, loud music. You will see a showcase of different designers and their stuff. And then towards the end, we will start showcasing graduates' collections. That's cool. Now, as I um, uh, talked about in the article, I went last year, and I was not what I thought it would be. And you mentioned high energy, and it is. I mean, there's a lot of music, and there's one of the things that, that struck me was uh, the interaction between uh, you know, the MCs and what's going on with uh, – it's, it's very high energy. There's, there's, you know, alcohol flowing, some different things like that. So um, – uh, Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the designs, because uh, I know, um, you know, designs are a little bit different than what people wear normally, uh, my understanding. So talk a little bit about that and about how that art comes into play on the runway. Absolutely. So even when you look at um, name brand designers, you look at New York Fashion Week, the idea of a runway collection is to evoke emotion. It uh, is definitely every it's bringing out um your inspiration um you know putting that on the runway uh your medium and is fashion in this case so um it is a little more um vibrant outlandish whatever you want to call it um but yes so the idea um is not to have just your everyday wear so that comes into play a little bit later for designers when um you know, they're ready to go into production and sell to the public. But um, What Walks the Runway is definitely um, a wonderful representation of your inspiration for your collection. So that's that's why you see things that are a little bit different. Um, but it's amazing because when you think you've kind of seen it all, 
um, you go to a fashion show and you just, you learn all kinds of new things. Um, how many designers do we have uh, this year? And I, I, I think there's, uh, but when I did the article, the, the interviews, um, there were, they have some that actually come back that have already graduated like yourself. And then there's students. It, explain a little bit about that and how many um, designers there will be. I do not have an exact number offhand how uh, how many designers. However, you can expect the show to run uh, for about two hours if it is um, anyway like it was last year. So um, to touch on <laughs> alumni and who comes back. So um, the fashion program at Clary Sage is 11 months long. So in my case, I was in school. I had not graduated yet. Um, this time last year for the fashion show. So I was able to um, use a few pieces that I had created in class. I did not have a collection um, that is reserved for graduates. So, um, and then of course I got to help with the setup and the production. Um, however, if a student has not completed their collections course and has not graduated yet, then um, they are given all of that, um, the time between their graduation and the next fashion show. So, um, I had the, um, pleasure of getting to do two. Uh, this is my graduate collection. So as far as, um, even though I am an alumni uh, or an alum, this, uh, is my graduate collection. Now what they've done this year that they've not done in the past is welcomed back, um, alumni mm -hmm. and they are showcasing that are back uh, showcases some things that they've been working on since they've been out of school. You'll get to see that this year for the first time. That's really cool. So, that, that is. Um, but, um, now, it, it's, um, <laughs> it's, and I, I, uh, I kind of made this uh, connection. It's, it's like a big party. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people that's mingling around. There's a lot of high energy. Um, <clears throat> This was uh, something that um, when, when I did the interviews, um, they had talked about being the major fundraiser. Um, people get that kind of stuck in their mind that it's a uh, this is going to be a boring type thing. And um, and so they they added this. It's different than any other type of fashion show. Um, and you had touched on and I wanted to, to touch on this a little bit uh, because they mentioned it as well. Um, everyone in the school gets involved. Uh, and you touched a little bit about about that, but um, we're talking all the way from the set design, hair and makeup, everything. So, I mean, this is a, and I, I think, um, I mean, and they're, uh, and this money that they raise from this goes uh, for scholarships to uh, to help all the students. So, you talk talk a little bit about that, and and if how that helped you, and kind of the, um, you know, your overall thought process on that. Absolutely. So it, everyone is definitely involved. It takes a village to put on a production like this. So, um, of course, being in the industry, um, it's hard for someone. It's hard for me to um, be empathetic with the thought that fashion shows would be boring <laughs> um, because they truly are anything. But um, however, this is um, I have been to other student ran fashion shows. I've um, attended fashion shows that did not have to do with uh, studies or school or anything like that. And um, the effort that is put into this show is um, really unparalleled, um, especially here in the um, Tulsa fashion scene. Um, mm -hmm. So we are actually at Canes for the second time. Um, Clary Runway was the first ever fashion show to be hosted in Canes. And so uh, we got to do it again this year. It's going to be really great. Uh, it is a big party. So, um, lots of fun. Uh, we have a wine pool. You can, um, it's all about support, um, and how you can donate, um, you know, without, uh, Tulsa and, um, just the support for, uh, you know, and celebrating local artists and local talent. Um, something like this wouldn't, um, be successful. So, um, Clary, uh, runway raised a hundred thousand dollars for scholarships last year for Clary Sage college and, uh, or really for, um, all this, you know, um, community higher ed. 
And um, this year they are looking to do more than 200,000. So it's really, um, it's a party, but it's about, it's coming out and celebrating local talent. And I think that, um, you know, that is what really adds to the energy. So. So all of the so, proceeds go to these scholarships? Is that... Absolute, absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. And um, this is a nonprofit. Um, uh, Clary Community Higher Ed is a nonprofit. Um, so this is really just um, success, put on and is made successful by um, Tulsa wanting to make it successful. So that's really cool. So uh, who has the, uh, who's running the, um, like the MC, who's doing the, um, you know, um, like they did last year. And I think they, um, who's going to be the one that's on the stage and, and introducing the, the, the talent, introducing uh, that. Who, I, who's, tell us a little bit about who yes. that's going to be. Yes, uh, Cher Kamiko. So okay. she will be um, our MC this year. We are super excited about it. So she's a lot of fun. She's actually been, um, reaching out and answering questions and really just talking about why this is important to her and why she wanted to be a part of it. And, um, I'm super excited to get to, um, talk to her and, and meet her. And, um, of course she'll come out. We'll also have others, um, that help with the, um, you know, raising of, uh, raising money between, um, between the runway, between the, sh uh, you know, catwalk, um, shows. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Well, so how's the how how is the music still going or? Yeah, let me go um, check it out. So we are Take doing. Us on a tour. Yes, so. so we're we're in the middle right now of doing a um our walkthrough, our rehearsal, get, making sure that the music is great, making sure all the, the lighting's perfect. Okay. So if you uh, flip your camera around, if you do the. Uh, there should be a button to do that. And if you'll hold your phone sideways, you'll get the best picture. Yes. Emily, you're standing next to me right here. And how many models do we have? Five. Diana, how do you want to... Okay, so, of course, the, the light's going to be very... Um, uh, yeah, can, can you flip your phone uh, sideways for us? Yes, I can. Perfect. So, all, all of the lights are low, but um, this is just... These are table setups for the tickets. We're gonna have the bar across the back. This is our wine pool. And then you can see a little bit of the setup here. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, so um, they'll be sitting back here. They're sitting all the way around. Um, we have, there's not a whole, whole lot to show right now, but, um, I did cool. see some of our raffle prizes. So um, our biggest raffle, we, uh, as I mentioned before, we partnered with iHeartRadio or Clary partnered with iHeartRadio. And um, tickets include Thunder tickets, OSU tickets, uh, Fleetwood Mac, Cody Johnson. There's uh, like five different events. Uh, and raffle tickets are only $10 a piece. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So great. I know that. And then, um, you know, there's something for everybody. We've got a luxury, uh, a spa lux um, package as well. So bring your wife, treat her, buy her some raffle tickets. <laughs> um, <laughs> and people can, and then people can purchase tickets at the, at, the, at the door, correct? Yes. So um, you'll be able to purchase tickets at the door. Tickets are $50. Um, and then you can go to ClaryRunway.com to purchase those. Um, and then it'll tell you from there how to um, get your tickets. So we'll have a list at the door when you get here. And um, last year, I'm sure they'll do it again. Um, let me go see what's going on over here. Yes. So... In the side room next to Kane's, forget what they call it. It's really set up for everyone after the show to really come in, check it out. Um, and I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek of this. So we have got posters set up. They're um, blown up huge. We've got a little bit of history um, back here. So you can really come and check it out after the show. And then we have a red carpet with a Clary Runway backdrop. So 
photo opportunities. I am um, definitely going. I'm really excited, obviously. Um, um, and I have not got to see your collection this year, so as a dad, I'm very excited to see that. Um, um, so, are you nervous? Uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm ready. Um, my volume was down earlier, so I don't know if you heard what I said. <laughs> it's like something's awry. Um, <laughs> Definitely so, heard you, though. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I didn't want to be talking so. over either one of you. But um, yes, so I have kept everything um, on the download this year. So there's a little bit of mystery for my family uh, surrounding my collection, but it is... Um, I believe 18 pieces. It's um, an 11, um, 11 outfit. Wow. Okay. So I'll have 11 models. Um, and um, we've got a nice little Clary backdrop here. So we'll be gathered around here after the show um, mingling. So after the show, yeah. you guys can come out, mingle with all of the designers. Sounds like music's getting back started. Okay. Well, Soraya, thank you so much for, for taking us on a tour and talking with us. Um, I'm excited. And, um, and I know this is going to be great fun. It was last year. So, yes. um, um, if, uh, yeah, if there's one thing to take away from this. It is that it is a party. It's a lot of fun. Come out and support your local talent. It's here. Tulsa's the fashion scenes here. That's cool. Right. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Soraya. Thank you guys. Bye. Yep. Thank you. Bye bye. See you, See you Saturday. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We are Unique Lahoma, where greatness gathers.